Hello everyone, I'm Maxwell and welcome to GIMP. GIMP. No, not GIMP. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, my YouTube channel. And, um, yeah, so this is my channel. Uh, has all these videos on it. What I want to do today is not a gaming video, obviously. I want to try and make some of my ugly ugly thumbnails better all right now i have no creative skills all right my knowledge of how to use gimp is very limited but all of these are uh, thumbnails i've done are pretty much all from gimp pretty much um the only exception being like the literally like the name of the game right here which I have used from pretty much you type you go into Google you type in press kits and then it comes up like you click on it you try and click on sites I've clicked on this one and then it gives you like pretty much like backgrounds and stuff like that to work with and it even here has like uh, the name logos and then down here the logos as well um, yeah, so pretty much using press kits. I actually found this out from a, another YouTube channel I follow called Francis John. Actually, I really like his uh, videos. I think they're great. But yeah, pretty much if you want to like have like the fancy titles in your videos, like what I did, um, press kits. Just go on Google and use that. We're pretty much just going to be changing my first video thumbnail the heavenly game minecraft so what i'm going to do with these thumbnails is pretty much what i did with the most recent thumbnail here um and like what i've done with the most recent thumbnails is like just grab uh certain clips from the video itself and then screenshot a bunch of clips from the game and then cut out some use one as a background and then pretty much just slap a slap a title on the front and then that should be it easy peasy lemon squeezy because other than that pretty much my lo my knowledge of how to use gimp is very limited all right it, it's very limited all right we're gonna go into the first game that well first video i've uploaded and we're gonna try and look for a good background pick There's a lot of uh, stuff that I've cut out of these videos. Hmm, I could put the name down here if I use it. Or like just right here. Maybe I could cut out like this proportion right here. This one's good because it has... Let me have a look at the previous thumbnail. So it's pretty much that. So it's pretty much this screenshot right here. I wonder if I can find a better one. A better one. Surprisingly spend a lot of time mining in this video. Hmm. Hmm, that seems like a good opportunity. I'm gonna try and screenshot that. That looks alright. We'll set that as, um, capture one. Capture one. And we'll see if we can find something else that's new. Hmm. I wonder, what if I just type Minecraft in? Ah. Spell. Ah, we have some logos. So we'll download this one. Hmm. That's it. 
But yeah, we can use a piggy. I killed a piggy in the game, pretty much. Give me this. I like it. Can use the coin. There we go. Alrighty. Now, we've gathered all the thingamajiggies. And we are going to start editing these photos. Let's see. We'll bring in the main image, the background image. This is what I want. Looks good. Uh, wait. Oh, the dimensions. The dimensions. Gotta get rid of that. And then open up a new one. And then, so it's gotta be 1280, 720. Pixels. All right, so this is the perfect thumbnail size. Now we just gotta drag in our images. First off is this one, all right? This is a good one, I like it. It's very unique, very easy to, you know, clarify what it is. Now, I wanna bring in the logo next. Oh, wait, make sure we have the image side up in here. Can you see that? Hmm, let's make it shorter. Yeah, the image side here. Um, all right, we'll bring in the logo. Shrink down the logo, too damn big. Go over this way a bit. I'll shrink it down some more. Okay. Hmm. It needs to be a bit high off the ground. Because in the. It's gonna be like a red line underneath. Could I put it up here? It seems like it's covering the sky, and I kind of want it like to. Ah, bugger. Put that back in place. Uh, could I put it here? Here? Make it a little small. Okay, we can put it like that. There we go, that seems all right. Yep. Now, actually, I kind of want this to be a little lighter, so I'm gonna go into colors, brightness. Uh, not working. Contrast. Uh -oh. I want it to stand out a bit. I think that's all right. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's alright. It's noticeable. Okay, now what I, my idea here is we're gonna bring in three images. Bring in this guy first. Now I'm going to need to enlarge this person simply because I need to crop him out of this black uh, outline. Magic wand, do your thing. No, oh, that's not it. Ugh do this by hand. I don't want to do it by hand because it's so lame, but I'm going to have to do it by hand. just introvert it and then delete there we go see if it worked as good as I want it to okay hmm you know what could be better I think that's fine I think that's fine uh, give me the move tool I think he's yeah he's probably better better off being over here behind the sign because what I want to do is bring in this image. Ah, a little tedious. Okay, now, what are we doing with the bed? What are we doing with the bed? Make it smaller. Make it a little smaller, but not small enough so people don't know what it is. Move it over here. We're going to go with what I know best, and that is simply just to do this. I'm not the most talented when it comes to this thing. I mean, the pig looks alright, the bed looks uh, a bit chunky. So pretty much what I'm going to do is, for each of these 
three objects, I'm going to make a duplicate. For the duplicate, we'll add an alpha selection, increase the size of the alpha selection by grow. Let's try five, see how that looks. Yeah, that's all right. I'll actually make it one more size. Make it a little bigger. Maybe give it two more. Yeah, that'll do. And then we are simply just going to do it like that. Bang, we have an outline. And is this the bed? We're gonna do the same for the bed. Oh no, the image is so small. Fine actually, it's fine. Cause I could still do that. And then voila! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now it's time for me. Actually, I kinda wanna get rid of that to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna... oh, I didn't get rid of it. No problemo, can I? No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just turn off the sign. Now we paint. There we go. Bring back in the sign. And there we go. We have everything we need. I kind of want to move uh, Steve over a bit, to be honest. Uh, I'm <laughs> trying to get this straight as... Uh, come on. Is that it? That's it? All right. We got it. We got it. The video like length and how much time or the video time will be down here. There's enough room for the red line down here. I could actually move the sign a little bit lower. Uh, could I put it down here? Mm. Would that work? Would that work? I mean, it looks all right, actually. It looks all right. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then the time will be here, that's there. We have everyone outside here. I mean, unless I move the piggy over here, Steve in the middle, no, because Steve will cover that. So what if I move Steve here, but then his legs, well, it's fine if his legs are covered by the timestamp. Move Steve here, maybe move the bed over here, or move these two over. That looks better. Maybe I can move the pig's face back in the other direction. Oh, whoop. let me do that. Uh, piggy, 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 piggy. And where is that black spot behind you? Okay, there we go. We have got it, gentlemen. Now, is that big enough? I think I feel like I should make them a little bigger just so then it's easier to see in the thumbnail. My goal here is pretty much, like, it, it does seem like there's a lot going on here, but I just want a few things to stand out the most to keep it simple and easy to understand. So it's going to be pretty much these main four objects, and then as someone looks further into the thumbnail, they'll see, oh, it's a Minecraft background. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's really good. There we go. Everything is fan damn -tastic. Exactly what I want to see. Yeah, so pretty much keep it simple. Got the Minecraft logo. I want to actually stretch that out a little. Uh, we're going to go with hue saturation. Because I want to make this... Um, make this stand out. Saturation. Increase the saturation, make the image stand out more, that's good. Looks more light. That looks better. Let's see, look, that looks better. Much more color vibrant. Alright. Huh. Looks pretty neat though. That looks it does look pretty unique. I want it to be like this, just a very soft glow behind the pig, a very soft glow, but these are very hard glows behind the person in the bed. I really don't want that. Yeah, I think this looks good. Alrighty, this is going to be our new thumbnail. This took me longer than it should, but you know what? I'm okay with that. 
See, this is going to be the new thumbnail and then you have the old one right here. Look how much better this looks. It's gonna go right here. Bam, look at that. Look how good that looks. All right, look how good that looks. That looks much better. Much better, much more lively. Simple, easy to understand. I like it, love it, All right? Maybe we should move that a little level, but you know what? It is absolutely stunning, all right? That is magnificent. Mwah! Five star thumbnail, all right? That is what you call artistic. Makes it look fantastic, all right? That is truly a good thumbnail. Anyway, I'll leave it off here, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.